It is time for the Nebraska Dairy Update. Chad Moyer reporting. Today we get an update from Midwest Dairy. We're visiting with Beth Bruck Upton with uh, with Midwest Dairy here in Nebraska. Uh, Beth, let's kind of do a, a year that was and a look ahead as well. Kind of, this is the time of year to do that sort of thing. So, I, I guess as you look at the events and activities of the Dairy Checkoff in 2022, um, what are the highlights? What kind of rises to the top uh, if, as you look at this year's activities? Yeah, thanks, Chad. You know, in 2021, we actually started a three-year strategic plan with a vision of bringing dairy to life for a better world. And our mission really is to work with others to give consumers an excellent dairy experience. And so throughout the past two years, really looking at 2021 and also 2022, we've really focused on maximizing our dairy farmer investment by really creating programs and resources that will positively use um, those checkoff resources to advance our goals. So lots to celebrate. You know, I know we've had some guests on the show in the past talking about our work in sales, um, our work in trust and research and all those areas. And so a lot of that, you know, as we go into 2023, our third year of this plan will continue. Um, so if we look at sales specifically, you know, we're going to continue to work with in retail and food service. Um, and I know a lot of examples have been shared, you know, our work with Casey's, hy V. Uh, Runza and Freddy's are just a few examples. Um, so really looking at ways through those channels to share dairy sustainable nutrition story, but also finding opportunities to promote dairy foods in those channels to also elevate sales. Um, so definitely continuing in that channel and looking for more opportunities. Yeah, uh, Beth. There's something that I've noticed. I've seen it at some uh, uh, on some Midwest Dairy publications and at the bottom of emails and things like that. But it's it's a new slogan. The the slogan or the the phrase reads "Make every drop count." Uh, so what does that phrase? What does that mean from coming from the dairy checkoff in Midwest Dairy? Yeah, that's a great question, Chad. So. Here at Midwest Dairy, we really align with the Unified Marketing Plan, which is really our um, coordinated plan with our national organization, Dairy Management Inc. And so really we want to focus on being efficient and effective with the dairy farmer's 15 cent checkoff investment. So it's really about all of us working together to maximize those dollars, to be efficient and bring forth the best programs we can to, again, benefit dairy farmer investment in our programs. So you said, Beth, we're going into the third year of this three-year strategic plan. Is it kind of steady as she goes and continuing to build on uh, some of those things that you talked about before, or are there new elements as we go into year three? Yeah, I think most of it, Chad, is going to be continuing, you know, with those things. Obviously, every year we evaluate our programs, you know, we learn from them, and then we'll take forth those things that have been most impactful in the work we've done. Uh, But as I mentioned, definitely continuing our work in sales, As we look at our work with trust, you know, we're going to continue to focus on health professionals and really looking at ways to equip them with tools and resources to meet their needs as they address the needs of their patients and clients that they work with to share dairy's, you know, really powerful nutrient package. Um, Consumers as well, you know, we want to continue to reach youth and parents and we know they have a lot of questions about where food comes from. So looking at events and channels where they're spending their time Um, So gaming is a new one for us, you know, trying to reach youth, especially, you know, in the ways where where they're spending their time, which in some cases is gaming um, events, social media, even looking at fitness apps um, as ways to really look across multiple channels to share that dairy sustainable nutrition story. All right. Just as we kind of wrap up, maybe you could uh, bring it down to the local level. Give us some examples of what we might see here in Nebraska in terms of uh, uh, that uh, uh, reaching out with some of those messages and things like that that you talked about. Yeah. So I think one of the new things, Chad, that we're looking at for 2023 is really how to engage in STEM. And so um, STEM, if you're not familiar, stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. And really, as we look at that kind of Gen Z audience or, or youth, if you will, up through high school, you know, ways to connect with them. If you look at dairy, um, there's a lot. Everything that happens on the farm really is connected to STEM. Um, you know, if we look at robotic milkers, you know, Roombas that are in the barn, you know, our cows, many of the cows are wearing Fitbits to track their health and activity. So there's so much there. So really looking at ways to work with our schools and education professionals in the new year to really find that connection. There's also a lot of career opportunities in dairy as it relates to those areas as well. So that's kind of a new area for us where I think we'll learn as we go through this year. But something I think to look forward to as well 
um, and a great opportunity, again, for Derry to share their story and um, opportunities for the future. Very good. Beth, it's always good to have you on the air. Thank you so much for the information. Beth Brock Upton with Midwest Dairy uh, Nebraska Division. And uh, again, kind of highlighting some of the uh, uh, highlights from this past year and a look ahead to 2023 and the activities of the uh, dairy checkoff. That is today's Nebraska Dairy Update. Chad Moyer reporting.